In this video, I'll be showing how to get AJ Strikers crate number one for the Roblox Metaverse Champions event and Pinewood Computer Core. So once you join, you're going to see AJ Striker right by the spawn. You can click above his head, and he says, hey there bud, it's me AJ. Then you can say, hey AJ, what's up? We need your help to destroy the core. Alright man, how do we do that? You need to turn off all of the cooling systems, got details. Make sure all five fans are kept shut down. Anything else I gotta do? Watch out for security, keep reactor power on four and enable all six lasers to heat up the reactor. Everyone here will help. Alright, I think I'm ready. I'm ready for meltdown and the prize. A loot box will come after the big explosion. It's time to nuke this facility, good luck. Okay, yeah, by the way, make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for videos on the rest of the stuff in this event, and like the video. But you basically just need to blow up the computer core, and this seems kind of a hard. Then right here you can see welcome, your mission is to overheat the reactor core and cause a huge meltdown. So, let's go do that, I guess. There's something that says core tablet. OP weapons, wait, is this a Robux? Bruh, 3,000 No, I'm not buying that. Okay, so, I, wait, is this just like the area where you can spend your Robux on stuff? I think that's what it is. It said enter, but it wants all my Robux there. Okay, wait, never mind, it says shop, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, if the core temperature gets too high or too low, bad things could happen. Have fun. There are lots of jobs to do in this facility, like managing controls, putting out fires, moving cargo, and driving trains. Start your own faction to either protect or destroy the facility. Other disasters will occur, so be careful. Okay, I guess let's go up here. If you let the core exceed 4,000 degrees, meltdown with extreme heat will occur and nuke everything. If it's too cold and hits negative 4,000, freeze down, and the black hole will destroy all life on this planet. Okay core entrance so i guess let's go down here okay then there are some areas on the ground that lead you to places and aj striker basically said to do everything that you're not supposed to do to keep the core exploding so i guess i can't go in here and then let's go over here. I don't know why everyone's following me. I'm just gonna say, go do the things. Because I'm not sure if there's a time limit, but we just need to find where the places are and then do that there. And I think, yeah, this is definitely going to be kind of hard to do. Okay, let's take a look at this stuff. Server rooms e coolant. So we probably want to turn off the coolant stuff. Reactor suit, that makes it so you can go to the reactor, which I'm just wearing that any- like, if I need it, then I have it on, so it's good, so I'm wearing it anyways. But then, main admin control plus cooling fans. That looks like something I definitely should turn off, so let's go this way, and just follow the yellow line over here. So, there's another room here, and- oh, it brings me to the upper levels. So, I guess I just sit down and then click the button. Yeah, and then let's go up. Okay. We just need to get to the control room and then we can do the first part of what we need to do, I guess. So, it is still going up. It's taking its time. Earlier, AJ Striker said you need to enable all six lasers, so I'm pretty sure he was talking about these lasers that are around this area. 
So if there are not lasers on the core, then just press the button so that they are. Like, this one is currently off. Maybe because I was seeing what would happen if you pushed the button. But I gotta turn it back on now. And I don't know exactly what this does. I'm gonna push it though. And we just gotta overheat the core. I think that makes the core angry. Uh, yeah, we're at 1600 degrees right now. So we're almost halfway there. And in the part I sped up, you just need to do what I did, where you get a hazmat suit so you can go down here. Or at least some people in your server will know what to do. Some people might just click the buttons randomly and turn everything off when it's supposed to be on and turn everything that's supposed to be off on and just like mess everything up. So it might be better to do in a VIP server if you know exactly what to do. So if you're watching this video right now, I guess like if you just want to do this easily, then join a public server. But if you want to try to do this and public servers aren't really working out for you, then do it in a VIP server. Wait, are VIP servers here free? Let me just... Oh, VIP servers are 100 Robux. Yeah, again, recommend doing this in a public server, but my VIP server will be linked in the description. I think what AJ Stryker said earlier about security guards are only going to be in public servers. Like, and they're not talking about NPCs, but there will be people that are the role of security guards, so they're maybe gonna try to stop you or something. So, well, no one's probably gonna try to stop you, because most people playing right now are just trying to get the crate. It's almost at 4,000 degrees, so now it is time to escape. So, I just need to find my way out. I climbed all of the trusses, and I'm pretty sure it's 4,000 degrees now. Okay, it says, warning core temperature too hot, activate coolant and cooling fans, disable boost lasers and reactor power. Nah, I'm, I think I'm gonna leave that on. So, I guess I can just, like, go this way, and I just gotta go back to where I was before, so I can, like, go over to the spawn where the trains were. Wait, couldn't I just reset and it would be, like, way easier? I just reset, so now we gotta teleport to the cargo train, so there's a teleporter right here, and I guess you can just sit on the train. The trains are gonna take you to an area that you just go through the door right there and there's a hallway. Like, you just wait on the train and then it's going to bring you here. And I guess we just wait in the launch control room. After waiting here for a few minutes, it put up a timer on the screen that says 160 seconds left, so I guess we just have to wait a few more minutes. I waited for the timer to be gone and now the screen is shaking a lot, so I think think it is about to explode, and I don't know how long that's going to take, but everything is turning red, and it is still shaking a lot. Oh, there we go! I got the AJ Striker Week 1 Badge Award. One of my friends, like, told me they are, they did a whole bunch of things, and apparently, like, you don't have to do those other things. I literally just turned off stuff and waited for it to end, and it gave me that badge. Right now, literally only, like, two people own the badge, so I am the third person to get it, or I guess we're all the third person to get it. That's pretty pog. But yeah, not that many people know about this yet, I think, and barely anyone owns the badge. But by the time this video is up, maybe more people will, will own it, I don't know. But uh, this took kind of a long time. It was about maybe 30, 40 minutes, I'm not sure. But make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more videos on this event. Like the video, join my Discord server, links in the description, follow my Twitter at Telanthric, use star code Telanthric to support my channel, and linked in the description is a playlist called Roblox Metaverse Champions Guide that has all my other videos on this event on it. So if you want to get more crates, then check that out. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.